This is the proof for the distance formula. To start our proof, we start with two general points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. The first point will be x1, y1. The second point will be x2, y2. After we have our two points, we then want to give the corresponding sides on the axis. So this is the y-axis, the bottom will be, and this is the x-axis. The first point on the y-axis will be y1, and the, first, and the second part will be y2. First part on the x is x1, second part is x2. We then want to try to find the distance equation using the Pythagorean theorem. To use the Pythagorean theorem, we need to create a triangle with our two points, a right triangle. Let's label one of the legs A, one of the legs B, and the hypotenuse C. Side A is corresponding to the y-axis, which is the distance between y2 and y1, denoted as the absolute value of y2 minus y1, and absolute value. The corresponding B side is the distance between the x values, the absolute value, of x2 minus x1. x1 minus x2 is fine. We then use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And plug in our corresponding values for those legs of the right triangle. We then want to solve for d by taking the square root of both sides. And we simplify. Let's go ahead and put d on the left hand side. d equals the square root. Now since we have absolute values in a perfect square, we can take those absolute values out and just use parentheses since perfect squares are always positive. x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y1 minus y2 quantity squared. And this is our distance proof.